Hello everyone and welcome back to Sunsaw Gaming. Now, today I would normally be doing a live stream. Uh, unfortunately I'm not, so I will bring to you guys this uh, map control video on Oasis Palms. Um, my health's not doing the best, which is why I'm not doing the live stream, so I apologize for that first and foremost, guys. Now, this map, okay, the dunes are a very integral part of this. If you don't control the dunes, um, your chances of winning are very slim because the way to play the town and actually succeed over there if the enemy control the dunes um, is very difficult you actually have to work as a full-on cohesive team which we all know in blitz does not happen in pub matches too often so this first match you can see most of our team has come out to the dunes um, We've got two heavies that have gone into the town, and those are the two heavies are the ones we want to focus on right now, just on the mini map. You can see where they've pulled into town, they're not pushing any further than that. Now, we didn't spot anything up out here in the field, which means those two heavy tanks are by themselves against the entire enemy team. However, because we have map control now, out here in the dunes, and I mean, look at that map. We've got one TD over in spawn, we've got a TD out in the back corner behind me, and we've got a TD moving all the way out to the left, with us two mediums in the middle. Um, and, well, sorry, myself and the medium in the middle. And you can see, we are just getting all of these shots on the enemy team that have pushed in here. Now, the ones that did push up top, uh, right around into where Cap A would be on Supremacy, they've done the right thing when they're pushing that way, because if you have to push across the center line, like you just saw there, you're going to take shots from anything that is controlling the field. Um, so if you go right out to that back corner and around there, you'll avoid being cross shot when you're pushing on enemy tanks like the two tanks on my team. Um, those three tanks from the enemy team managed to push over and get into him without too much issue from us out in the field. But the rest of the team that sat forward closer to this sort of little ravine edge in the middle there, they they got punished. They got punished big time. So you do have to be wary of that, guys. Now, we're just going to focus on what this is, light tank has done. He's come out here, which is the right thing to do, uh, trying to spot for his team, except he came out here way too aggressively, and now he's paid the price. He's dead. So if you are that light tank on the enemy team and your entire team is in the town there, just be very passive out here because your team needs you alive to spot these dunes to be able to win. Um, if you die like that, again, map control stays with the people in the dunes. And pushing up here through that ravine also from the dunes is so much easier. It's a lot easier to attack and push on this town section than it is to push from the town section and attack on the dunes. Um, if you're not working as a proper unit. Uh, so you do have to be sort of wary of that. It's one of the things about this map. The town can be very hard to control, unless played right. And you're going to see in the next match, um, it goes so much worse for the enemy team, just because they don't have... Well, you'll see in the next match. You'll see in the next match. But the end of this one here, I mean, we're just going to troll this guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to pick up this win. So... That's how you control this map, guys. Get out to the field, win that first engagement out there if there is going to be one, and go from there. Now, that's not saying that the map is... You should always full send out to the uh, dunes. As you saw in this match, two of our heavies went down, and it worked for them. And the reason it worked for them is because they did not push across the middle. So if you do go town, don't push across that middle section unless your entire team is with you. Um, and if you do, be wary of being cross-shot from the dunes. Now, we are in the in mill 2 for this one. And again, I'm going to go out to the dunes. Why? Because I'm in a hull down tank. Yes, I may be a heavy, and heavies can play that uh, town very well, but if you're in a hull down tank, the dunes just provide so much cover. Um, so much, mu like you've got a lot more freedom of movement out here. Um, Plus, you're not limited by buildings to your firing angles. From out here, you can literally look anywhere you want and stop the enemy from pushing on you. Whereas, if you're in the town, you do have all those buildings around you, you have limited firing angles out here to the dunes, and it does make it very difficult to deal with any tanks that are out here. 
Which is why I do say, you know, you have to control these dunes if you want control of this map. Um, it is the best thing to do. Now, as you can see in this one, the enemy team have not all come this way. They've sent two medium tanks, and I apologize for the little bit of lag spikes you guys are going to see. Um, but our entire team full sends out here, and these two guys, because they're alone, they are getting absolutely clapped. And their heavies and the rest of the tanks that have gone in town don't have shots on us out here. Um, and it's, it's just not smart gameplay. However, the enemy team has done the right thing by capping A there. Now what they need to do is to cap B and then go to the back of the buildings, stay out of our view range, stay safe in cover, and just accumulate the cap points. If you're in the enemy's position on this map and you do send to the town side, you need to rely on bases to win in supremacy mode. Now if you do this in encounter, um, your best bet is is just to hope that the enemy comes at you one at a time and pushes into the town and dies. It's, it's pretty much all you're left with. Um, a majority of the time, anyway. It doesn't always play out like that, but a majority of the time, it's just not safe to try and play the town. However, the enemy team here have done the complete wrong thing. You can see these guys, they're pushing out into the dunes. You've got two guys coming this way and they're getting cross shot by most of our team. We've got another guy who's pushed in um, through our spawn and he is, he's alone now in spawn. The only tank on the enemy team that's doing anything right here is the IS-8 who is uh, still sitting behind the rock on cap B. But he's been sitting there safe using the hard cover from all of us out here in the field. and he's been trying to get his shots in on us and that's the right thing to be doing now if you're in a light tank or a medium tank and your entire team goes to town getting your light tank or medium tank if you're small enough behind that rock on B is a great position to be spotting up the field when the enemy fire um, so keep that in mind if you do end up getting stuck on the town side of this map because you can hide behind that rock effectively you can light up the enemy team and your allies can pop out from the buildings and shoot into the dunes. However, the dunes, in my opinion, still hold the advantage. Um, and I mean, in this one here, I didn't do too much damage. We only get a class two, but the damage is shared so evenly across the team because of how we controlled the map. Um, I hope you guys found some useful bits of information in here. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe for me. It does help out. And until next time, stay safe, use cover. Cheers.